Hey guys, so today we have another episode of the Elixir Academy, and this series is where I go on stream and help you guys cut your elixirs. And not only do I help you cut your elixirs, I actually go and walk you through my thought process and teach you how to cut elixirs yourselves so that in the future, after we're done with this session, you can go and cut your own elixirs and get your own 40 set. So today we have a session with a viewer, and I have to say that it didn't go really as planned. Unfortunately, sometimes as much as you try to cut a good elixir and use as many techniques as you can, luck just has its way with you. So we end up cutting through elixirs for like maybe an hour and a half, though that wasn't all included in this video, but we don't think we actually end up with anything good. We were very close on the second elixir that we show you in this video, but unfortunately it just didn't go quite that way. But I will have to say that this episode is very good because I do go through a lot of explanation and spend a lot of time for each of the choices and kind of going through the individual nuances to picking certain choices over another. So I definitely highly recommend you guys take a look at this episode and use it to learn how to cut your own elixirs. As usual, if you want to participate in one of these elixir cutting sessions, just come on my channel and hang out and get enough channel points to redeem the Elixir Academy and I can walk through your elixirs with you as well. So come hang out, twitch.tv slash mesoixiru. I'd love to see y'all there, but if not, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, guys, peace. All right, we got some legendary elixirs to go through, right? Yeah, so basically I got some purple ones that I got from the event. Watched some videos didn't really have an idea what I'm doing, so it's all kind of shit now. It's um, all good, it's all good. So, you know, like I have a level 5 here, 4 here. I mean, they, uh -huh. these were all purple ones, so... But I'm kind of struggling with, uh, you know, the, the, the best selection, because every guide I watched, every article I read on, for example, Maxroll, it's all a bit vague to me. I don't really yeah. know, uh, like, what are the wisest decisions to make in certain circumstances so i figured you know let's just save up the channel points and uh don't cut any legendary elixirs and just let me so do it for me <laughs> all right let's do this so i will so the goal today i'm going to be trying to kind of like walk you through like the elixir itself and like um kind of helping you learn how to do it so that's that's the real goal today um yeah exactly um so let's do this so overall, and, and you probably know this, right? Overall for like um, selecting elixirs for your DPS, you're going to want to maximize and optimize for damage. So anything that's yeah. like damage lines is what you ideally want. For your pieces like helmet, shoulder, chest, pants, gloves, right? They all have set like effects. Like helmets, like helmet and gloves are critical and master. And then yeah, shoulder then... is like boss damage, chest is incoming damage reduction, and pants are crit damage, additional damage. In general, for most DPS classes, you're going to want master or critical on helmet and gloves. Um, and then for shoulders, you're going to want boss damage. And for most classes, you're going to want crit damage on pants. And then for chest, you can either go incoming damage reduction and attack power, or dexterity is... Those are the two best ones. Or you can go both damage lines, attack and dex. Normally, attack and dex are considered best in slot for chest as well. Or de not dex, but your stat. Your stat. Class is stat. So, um... Yeah, so that's just a flat stat and not the set thing, right? Yeah, that's a flat stat. Um, yeah. So that's kind of like typically what you want to do for your elixirs. So let's start off by, you know, selecting the lines, right? So for this one you would choose attack power because that gives you damage. And then these ones are all kind of garbage, right? None of yeah. them really benefit you in really any way for damage. So any and for these, I'd say all of them are decent, but wait, what class are you again? Fred Slayer. Predator Slayer. Um, for now, probably got to change on uh, when tier 4 releases because, mm -hmm. you know, entropy classes are worse than garbage if i may <laughs> believe the the upcoming changes but so uh, for now like like in this situation i would probably choose uh mp because you know as a slayer you sometimes have trouble uh with um mp sure do it 
And then now for this one, I don't. So this is the interesting, right? I think, I think Punisher Slayer goes different elixirs than Predator, if I recall correctly. Yeah, so I can pull up the Lost Ark Nexus guide real quick. I think Punisher goes master, whereas Predator goes yeah. critical. Crit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I uh, every guide I read just said to go with full uh, full crit. Yeah, so this is a part where you kind of have to make a decision. Do you want to cut for the present or do you want to cut for the future? Yeah, Predator the Critical, present, got it. Because uh, this character probably is going to be uh, played as a lazy one as soon as Tier 4 comes out. Okay, um, so... I al I'm already working on a uh, EO Soul Fist and uh, uh, Soul Eater as well. Which got one it. of those two is going to be my main, most okay. likely, in Tier 4. Yeah, sure. Then let's go with Critical. And then this one, out of all these, for all the like not so good ones, Stagger is usually the best one to take. Because that yeah. one actually has a active effect on the raid itself. Yeah. And then now you have Critical, you have Attack Power. So you have two choices here. You can choose something like um, your main stat, for example. Um, and that could work. And you could cut a Critical and then your other stat. Or... For my general rule of thumb is that if you have a set piece already and a second good stat, right? You can also just choose another set piece. Typically, I'd say two set pieces are okay to cut um, on an elixir. The reason why you don't want too many set pieces is because if you, let's say, get critical chaos, boss damage, and crit damage or something, right? Like that, right? And those are separate set pieces because critical chaos is a gloves piece, boss damage is shoulder, yeah. and pants is, you know, crit damage and pants. If you roll on both of them, then you don't get the benefits for one of them. So um, for me, typically, I, because in my opinion, like you should be aiming for the set pieces, I would probably choose in this situation another set piece, but you can also choose to go on the safe side and just take your stat as well. So it's up to you. Yeah, so what I've been doing uh, with the purple elixirs I cut is I would also choose another set piece so that if the RNG gods fuck me, there's still a decent chance that I at least get another set piece to level three or four. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my thinking as well. So um, your current elixirs, you pretty much nothing is like really, you don't really have any four fours or four threes right now, right? No. Okay, so you can just go with whatever. Let's just pick boss damage. So, okay. So typically when we get to this point, for the most part, for the nodes that you're going to be choosing, you're going to want to optimize on getting as many nodes as possible, especially when you're first starting off to cut elixirs, like when you're just trying to get your set, because your set bonus is going to give you the most damage, and it doesn't really matter too much what you get in your lines, other than the fact that you get the set pieces and your 40 nodes. So, uh -huh. especially at the beginning of an elixir, when there's no nodes, like, Right here, you have a choice between attack power, transmute guaranteed, you have critical chaos, minus two, plus two, and you have the center one, which minuses uh, turns, right? Typically, yeah. I don't take the minus turn ones because turns are really good because you can get more opportunities to get extra nodes and also get great successes. So, yeah, yeah right in this situation, the... yeah, because I have nothing to lose, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. It has no levels. Yep. Boom, perfect. Nice. You got one. Okay, <clears throat> so now, typic so now at this point, ideally in an ideal world, you want to keep pressing the blue one. Now you have two three right. cho choices, right? You have increased critical chaos minus two, one, two plus two, same as before. You have increased great success rate plus thirty, and you also have increased one effect with lowest, but another will lose two levels. So at this point, right? If what 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 would you choose? Uh, I'd say I just go for this one again. But mm -hmm. could you please explain a bit about these charges? Because I don't really get what uh, what they mean and what they do. I mean, yeah. I know that as soon as this one fills up or one of them fills up, I think this it's like a high RNG option or something that you that you get. And for this one, it's pretty much always a positive option. I, 
It's all yeah. So each of them have their own kind of uh, I guess. So we call usually like we call it like critting when when we get the bubbles filled up and it gets like a super option right and it gives you like a big like wow amazing effect um so it's kind of like you said ish the blue ones are typically very safe there's no real gamble with those um and the purple ones usually have some sort of gamble associated with them but at the same time um they're all positive like it typically they're all effects that you would want um so you want to optimize and get as many of those as possible to like fill up all the way now you know how those fill up right yeah yeah so that's why typically for the most part you want to keep clicking on the blue one because that's kind of how you continue to you know get more and more of these bonus effects and like um the big crits so what I was saying earlier is you were you're gonna go on the left. For me, I would personally choose right, and this is not a right or wrong answer. This is just a yep. choice, and that's why elixirs are so like, you know, it's hard. RNG. Yeah, it's so hard because there's a lot of RNG, but there's also a lot of situations where it's not really necessarily a right answer. Maybe yep. one answer is a higher probability, but it's hard to say um, without like a some sort of probability calculator or something. I would personally go right because it allows me to keep stacking blue. But then also if you think about it, right? An elixir has two lines that you want. Yes, you ideally want to get your critical chaos up to as high as possible. But at the moment, you don't have a second line that's really what you want. You want it to go into attack power and that has zero in it. So um, there's a chance that... So this is basically... At the moment, you're guaranteed to get one node on a lowest effect... So that would be either attack power, stagger, or boss damage. But one other effect would lose two levels, but that could be any of them. So basically, yeah. you're gambling on a one out of four chance. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't want to hit the one out of four because you don't want to hit critical chaos minus. You're still fine with MP power, MP minus, right? But you just don't want to yeah. hit the critical chaos uh, minus. So in this case situation, I would personally gamble for it, but it's up to you if you want to. I mean, both are gambles, right? So boom, perfect, right? That just gave it for free and it didn't minus anything. Boom, per amazing. Okay. And then this one, I would personally pick right again because this one will let you get to the three stacks, but also it's a good effect. And the other ones, honestly, none of them are really that great. So I do that. And you could either and click, yeah, chaos or attack or either one. I mean, in this situation, I should always prioritize chaos when I have the choice, right? Um ish ish you can it, it, you, some people like splitting it up to attack power personally i also like stacking it up so yeah let's do it okay there we go um f now you have an option right so not paying for any future transmission transmutation isn't that amazing sounds um, shit to me if you ask yeah me. but the thing just... is if you pop off of it now you're getting rid of the ones that you stacked on the left on, on the purples um, and then also, is there anything there that for me personally is like really, really amazing? Not really, because the critical one, it technically is a gamble. So you could lose nodes on it. For me personally, I probably wouldn't take the gamble and just keep clicking on the blue. That way you can continue stacking up the purples. So if I understand you correctly, the it, it should always be a focus to stack the purples without taking too much risk and in return losing some of the 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 notes i unlock well typically you just want to stack all of them right because like if you yeah. keep clicking on blue you'll keep stacking on blue and also stack on purples all right okay I mean, this so is, this is going pretty well so far yeah so now you're two points away from hitting the purples so let's take a look what you have you have lowest level up by one however a, the highest level will lose two which we don't want Nope, Increase attack sure. power by one, 25% chance. That's not bad, but you know, it's such a it's a pretty low percent. And then great success of stagger by 100 percent it's really nothing at that point. But the thing is, it's better to take something that gives you nothing than something that costs me something. Something that costs you something, which on the left it's costing you the highest level, but the middle it's yeah. costing you the nodes, like the purple nodes. So I'm just gonna yeah. take the right one and keep stacking. Oh, nice. So this one is one that you have to think about a little bit because 
Um, left is not bad. It's okay. It's pretty decent. Great success is fine. But at the same time, you take left, you now lose all the stacks on your purples on that one. Middle is not good. You definitely don't want to take that one. Because you lose no. your stacks and the effect is bad. Yeah. Now, right is not great either. It's not good, actually, because that makes it so you can have a higher chance on MP, which you don't want. But at the same time, it allows you to keep stacking blue again. And also, if you do that, both purples will be crit next turn. So it's just a choice of are you willing to gamble the chance of it going to MP? Or are you not and you're just willing to take, you know, the chance of like getting or not the chance, but willing to take it to the point where like you miss out on the blue and the purple crits next turn. For me, I would probably just gamble this where I'm at right now. Um, I think I value the big crit next turn. But again, there's no right answer. Left is fine. Right is also fine. But personally, I'd take right. Yeah, so um, if I understand this text correctly, the, the decrease in chances only for this uh, transmute, right? So, yeah, it's only the because you transmute. Because you also, yeah, all right. So but the great the success sense. chance is all remaining. Yeah. Yeah, so I personally say I'd go with this and just see how I, what the crit options are for the, the two purples. Yep. That's what I do as well. I mean... Again, it's like Chad is saying, MP critical chaos first, you know, your class isn't terrible, but I don't think, you know, it's not what I deal, right? Okay. No. So now you have redistribute for all uh, effects for all, uh, all effects, which is not good right now. You have an exhaust and then you have a decreased transmutation by 20% for all remaining transmutations, which if you look right now, everything is at 20. So basically this makes it so you can't like... Tr Unless something forces you to transmute into that thing, it won't transmute into that thing. So now you only basically have four choices, which is really good. So you either take middle or right. Personally, my philosophy, right? I don't like taking exhaust early because it eliminates one of the choices. I don't like that. And yeah. also, personally, grandpa exhaust for me, unless my elixir is like, really off the charts amazing right now i personally don't like it because it just doesn't give that many nodes so for me personally i want to take the right one but i wouldn't blame you if you took the middle one a lot of people you know there are people who do like taking exhaust um yeah but i still have eight eight turns remaining so exactly and also the typical kind of strategy for most elixirs is you want to get an extra turn on one into an exhaust on one again after that extra yeah. turn and if you take this exhaust you can't do that so yeah so i would say in this case i go with the right and then just um decrease the effect of the boss damage as i yes, al exactly. al already almost at level two for yep. crit exactly exactly so I saw someone in chat saying it's too early to exhaust and it's grandpa. So um, is there a reason why I would specifically want to keep this dude in, in play? No, it's just it's like I was saying, right? He just only gives two to three nodes, which is not that many nodes, especially for an early exhaust. When you exhaust early, it just reduces your chances of getting a good elixir in the future, right? Because you minus yeah. one choice. So yeah. that choice that could have been something amazing is not there anymore so it just but reduces it, your chances let me rephrase my question is there um is there a strategy behind choosing which of these three uh to exhaust because do they offer different yeah uh, so options? so grandpa exhaust always gives you two plus two plus three grandma exhaust always gives you minus four plus five so she's the biggest gamble but the biggest reward and then Killmonger on the left gives you plus zero, uh, plus zero plus four, which is ah. a pretty good like you know yeah. reward value because it's only one especially, less than grandma, but there's yeah. no chance to subtract. So especially at the end, you kind of want to exhaust this dude. Um, either either him or grandma is what I'd say for yeah. most cases, but sometimes grandpa's okay because like. If you have an elixir that's going really well, for example, right? Let's say, you know, one of them is pretty much maxed out and the other one is like close to maxed out. 
then even if you had a minus four plus five, if there's only three nodes in there for you to get in there, then there's no reason to gamble for stuff that you wouldn't, you know, you can't even get the maximum value off of. Yeah. So, and it All like, right. you know, the other ones have a chance of messing up your elixir, which, you know, Killmonger yeah. isn't like, you know, a messing up per se, plus zero, but it does give up, forfeit your chances at getting more nodes. So sometimes that can mess up your elixir because maybe you need two more nodes to get plus five on something, but, which would have been guaranteed by grandpa, but Killmonger you know, basically made it's like, yeah, no, you only, you got zero. So that's kind of the reason why. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, so this would be the point where I would just click one of them that seemed the most logical at that point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one, I, which one would you choose? Uh, I think I would go with the decrease in stagger. Yep as yep. this one would be the like the attack power would be beneficial and i already have a few levels on um mp mm -hmm. and critical yep. mm -hmm. yeah so that's what i'd go for so go ahead click that perfect okay so now we're now this is where it starts for that strategy have you used this strategy before the extra turn on one and then exhaust Nope, I have no okay. idea what you're talking about. So this is the most common strategy for um for uh what should I call it? For uh sorry. This is the most common strategy for getting an elixir, which is this is one of the advanced techniques. It's called, you know, I call it extra turn into exhaust, which basically means on the last turn you'll roll for an extra turn. And then you also try to get an exhaust on one of the sages. So it starts at turn six. And you kind of have to think about it at turn seven-ish too. Because, for example, we clicked on grandpa, right? That basically means that grandpa... Um, wait, sorry. Uh, wait, never mind. Is it the case? No, never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, I, I think I think we're still completely actually no 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 no. So right now, right? The because you chose the the middle one earlier on seven, it means that this turn, basically, for the most part, you're going to be exhausting grandpa. Because right now you need to swap off of grandpa and give him one purple. So out of the two, Killmonger or Grandma, the best one is probably gonna be um grandma right yeah so you're gonna click on grandpa grandma you don't want to click on grandpa you need to swap off at this point okay now you don't touch grandpa ever again because okay. he is going to be the one you're going to exhaust so now in this situation you on turn five you have the option to click either grandma or killmonger yeah, so this is the only one that makes sense, right? Because I already yep. got rid of exactly, uh, boss exactly. Damage. Okay, it's kind of going everywhere, which is kind of unfortunate, um, especially because we're going for this method right now uh, for the exhaust in uh, extra turn and exhaust. It's but okay. I we'll have like going. eighty. I have like eighty elixirs in my inventory, yeah. so yeah. So now, on turn four, you have to swap off of the blue. So you, on turn four, you want to make it so that there's one blue node on somebody. And in this case, again, you can't click on Grandpa anymore. So you have to kill on, click, click on Killmonger. So great success on oh, one of them. Yep. It's on critical, right? Sure. Yep. Okay. So one of them MP. So now you have to click on Killmonger for the rest of your turns until you exhaust. Now... Attack power ceiling at this point, let's just do it because you're at this point going to be going for critical MP because attack yeah. power, there's not as many nodes. So let's just seal that one, which is fine. It, and then perfect boss damage. That's one that you would be fine sealing too. All right. Now on this turn, you want to re-roll until it gives you an extra turn. So it doesn't consume a turn. So hit it, re-roll it. Unfortunately, it wasn't it. You have to got to re-roll it again. Cross your fingers unfortunately it wasn't it so at this yeah, point so this you is, just pick. this is basically garbage this elixir. yeah basically um so just click the left one click stagger and then you know call it a day right it's gonna be a three two at the best 
So yeah, let's go into potion poisoning, and because then MP. yep, sure. Uh, mass evasion, boss damage. All right, and then just attack power. So this one, which one will you pick? I'd say either left or right, but mm -hmm. I'm leaning more towards right because it's something permanent. It is something permanent, yes. But personally, for me, five percent isn't enough for like giving up fifty percent chance to get an extra node. But that's okay. just me. I, I I can definitely see like what you're saying, right, about the permanent. But yeah, okay. And we got the extra note, which perfect. Our gamble paid off. Um. Okay. So in this situation, which one do you pick? Either left or middle. Mm hmm. Yeah, I agree. I'd I'd say left because you know I only have one note, but I can get up to level one if I'm lucky, sure. which I have not been so far. So. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. Um let's which one do you pick here? Uh let's see. I'd, I guess middle. Yep, sure. To stack up the blue uh sure. ones and do it's it. a decent effect. Great success is good. I'd say left now. Or maybe right. Um I think there's an argument for middle as well. Again, stacking up the blues because you get the crit next turn, but it's in something that you don't really care about or want, so uh, I think personally, right, you already have three in that one, so not great to lose that one. So I'd personally either go left or middle. Um, probably for me right now, I'm on today, I'm leading left, but some days I might lead middle. It just depends on my day, I guess. Okay, left is good. My god, it's okay. just going all the places I don't want mm -hmm. it to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so middle is not good. Left's not good, right is best, but you don't want to get rid of that. So I'd yeah. probably just go left to stack. Uh, ooh, left is very good. Oh, wow. That, that, that could have potentially saved your elixir right there. Yeah, so I guess okay. I'm going left again now, right? Well, so, so now, again, turn seven is the pivotal turn, right? This is where you decide what you want to do. You, want, you decide whether you want to go for Zoro or not, and you, or you decide who you want to exhaust. Now, again, there is the option of Zoro. That is an option. But at the same time, Zoro also is not amazing because you have two effects that are bad and one that's good. Now, yeah. again, as I mentioned earlier, Zoro, it, it's either I choose the highest and distribute it amongst the rest of the effects or the lowest. So if it chooses highest at the moment, your attack power is the highest. And that could just give you a potion poisoning at mass evasion, like so, which yeah. is not amazing. I mean, it could give you the points, which is not bad. Or you can go for the extra turn and exhaust, which is kind of the safest, kind of like the usual play that most people go for. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you would go into. Um, and that's kind of your choice. At this point, I'd probably just try to cut a attack power and mass evasion or potion poisoning because boss damage at this point it's not reasonable okay um so i wouldn't choose left um i can't choose right because that's bad so i choose middle which is actually a good effect but you kind of again make yourself exhaust grandpa which is not the best outcome but so right is a decent option right because no, it's not why not because it it's consumes two turns oh shit yeah i didn't read that part my bad so, Still early here. No, all good. So let's go into Grandpa. Oh, that's the <laughs> worst that outcome. Just, that just went into everywhere you don't yeah. want it to go into. I mean, that's been the story of my life so far since we've been doing this. So, <laughs> I mean, look at this. Yeah, we're, we're today's like, not been a great seven, day. And seven elixirs in, and it's all been shit so far. Now, um, so right now. I would say that. I mean, I guess I, 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 if you ask me, I just gamble the random effect seal sure. and hope it goes in either boss damage or MP, sure, or potion poisoning. Sure, do it. Okay, that went well. Well, yeah, extra transmute as, as well as it could be. Yeah. So I'm thinking right now, right? I, uh, I, I think. Yeah, let's still let's continue down this path of doing the extra turn into exhaust play. 
So right now, again, you don't want to touch Killmonger anymore here. So you either choose or Grandpa or you choose... Um, I think there is a world where we can go for Zoro here, actually. Yeah, we can actually still go for Zoro here, which is not ideal. But you can also I mean, go for 2x free turn, but I I think the... Okay, we can't, we can't still do Zoro here, which I think that's probably the way that we're going to go. So we need to swap right now onto Grandma. And then I guess I select attack yeah, power. Sure, go on attack power. Okay. okay now you want to keep clicking grandma. So do grandma one more time. Ooh, my oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, and then you go into grandma again. Okay. Oh, and it's I mean, a, and that one's I mean, great. So you're gonna want to seal. I would I mean, say, that's... yeah, I'd probably seal Master of Evasion here. That's kind of where I'd go. Okay. Now you need a re-roll. So you want to get Zoro here. So you want to get it redistribute. I re. I mean, I have a redistribute. Um, no. So that's not the one that you want. You want the. You want the redistribute the highest or lowest amongst the um, other effects. So you reroll one more time. Ooh, and that's an exhaust, which isn't bad, actually. You, don't, you didn't get the Zoro, but you still got, which could potentially even be better than Zoro if you want to go into the potion poisoning, right? So I would just go into potion poisoning and just go for a chest here. Okay. Extra turn. Nice. Okay. We go big or we go home. Ooh, okay. That's not the good Zoro, unfortunately. I want the I wanted the lowest level, but yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh, uh five five, but attack power stagger. Uh oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. And then you got tofu afterwards. Oh my god, You're, this luck is actually terrible right now. So now this is actually this wow, because right now this is the worst outcome. This is actually the worst outcome. Okay, yeah. Um, luck, luck aside, this has been very productive for me. So I want to thank you for that. Yeah, for um, sure. Sorry, the elixirs are all just oh, no, really no, bad. No need to apologize no, for that. Chat. I mean, that's. Uh, that's that's the, the 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 choice we make when we decide to play Lost Ark, right? Yeah. <laughs> and High Danny, highs and low lows it as and well. everything's been shit so far. So I guess I'm just going to wait uh, till tomorrow and then cut the rest of the elixirs. See if my luck is better in a new day. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. Oh, oh but... I mean, it happens. Like I said, I have like 80, 70 or eighty uh, legendary elixirs remaining. So I, I, there, there's. Pretty much a zero percent chance that I don't get anything good. Hey, knock on wood, knock on wood, man, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> already did, already did. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this, uh, sorry the luck didn't go this way, your, the, your way, but I'm glad that you know this was at least an educational experience. Yeah, I mean, thanks so much, man.